Zoos try to maintain genetic diversity amongst species by consistently trading animals and spreading their genes throughout the country. When we visited Philadelphia Zoo, they were receiving two new giraffes from another zoo across the country. In general, the zoo protects animals from their natural predators and gives shelter to members of endangered species. While there are no fundraising efforts specific to monkeys right now, almost half of the endangered species exhibit was species of monkeys. A new renovation to the zoo just for monkeys and primates is the treetop trail. It will be finished in the coming months and it is an array of bridges and tunnels throughout the zoo for monkeys to play in. Animals are conserved and their average lifespans are lengthened, but it is not their normal habitat even though the zoo tries their hardest to recreate it. PETA opposes animal captivity and calls zoos pitiful pits. But the zoo isn't just about animal captivity, they help the community. This year the Philadelphia Zoo is seeking to have at least 5% of their admissions to be given out free to financially struggling schools or organizations. They also support numerous fundraisers for animals' natural habitats, including PECO, which is committed to preserving primates. A zoo in Flemington would not only be a source of entertainment for all ages and a bringer of job opportunities, it would open people's eyes to national environmental problems and get them involved.